Welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you my after gym routine as a beginner that I am. I started uh, going to the gym like one week ago, so I'm really fresh. I haven't been working out consistently in like, uh, I don't know, seven, eight years. So it's been a really long time. And uh, the first week I made my muscles feel uh, sore, definitely. But I do like uh, feeling more uh, the feel, feeling stronger day by day, feeling my muscles grow. As a goal, I would like also to lose weight, but I don't want to obsess over that. I gained weight like since 2020. Uh, I have been gaining slowly like 30 kilos, which is a lot. Like it was COVID, it was the fact that for a big part of time I was not working and then I started working uh, as a call center agent, so I'm sitting on my ass the whole day and yeah, so and also some medications that I've been taking made me and also the fact that I was eating a lot, let's be honest, uh, made me gain a lot of weight, which makes my every my day-to-day -day life a little bit difficult. I cannot walk as much as I would like, uh, especially when I'm traveling. It's really important for me to be able to walk around the city and explore and when you weighed 120 kilos that I weigh right now, it's a bit difficult. And at the end of the day, your legs are sore and it's a mess. I have as a goal to get stronger, feel better, feel healthier and lose weight. But again, not obsessing over it. I'm not gonna weigh myself because I weighed myself like last week after going to the gym for like three days and I saw that I have gained weight and I'm like, what the fuck? The, the scale, I don't care about the scale, fuck the scale. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing after the gym. So stay tuned. This is maybe my favorite salad. I'm not a big salad person, don't get me wrong. It, but this is really tasty. So it has a big old rusk because I do love my bread. It has lettuce and wild arugula. My secret to make it extra delish is to put honey on the rusk. After I wet the rusk so it is nice and soft, I drizzle honey on top of it and it makes it super delicious. So the cheese now is a mixture of cottage cheese and another type of cheese called manuri, which I believe, which I believe is of Cretan origin, correct me if I'm wrong, and it's really, really delicious. I believe it's quite calorie dense, but again, I'm not obsessing over calories, I'm eating what feels healthy. So I ate the salad and I spent like, uh, I don't know, one hour, like scrolling on my phone, of course. Uh, so I'm gonna take a shower and let me show you what I'm using. Uh, I'm using this shampoo. I think it's really nice. It's supposed to be of natural origin, 95% natural origin, so, okay. Uh, I don't use expensive stuff at the moment. What else? I might do a mask, but Garnier, a uh, hair remedy. If I feel I have the energy, I'm popping on a silver hair mask because I have blonde hair. The body wash and stuff. Again, a random. My mother got it, so I'm using it like milk and honey, whatever, it's decent. And then I recently bought this thingy and I, I love it so much by Interm Intermed. It smells so good. It's a scrub. It's really nice. I'm gonna take a shower. Uh, I'm not gonna take you with me in there. Uh, so I'll see you right after. So before I apply my moisturizer, it's an absolute necessity to eat a little snack. Um, 
this one in particular. Uh, I buy this, I buy these quite a lot because they are very cheap. They are very cheap, like they are uh, 45 cents, I believe, each. Uh, not a lot of calories and it's dark chocolate. So I do have a severe case of sweet tooth. So like most of the times I need to have a sweet snack every day. Otherwise I'm gonna fall apart. I ate my little snack and now I'm ready to moisturize my body. Uh, this is what I'm using. I'm not sure if you can see it, hold up, yeah. So this is Le Petit Marche Basically, it's an oil. I, I've really struggled to find a moisturizer that I like uh, because after I get out of the shower, I like to feel nice and clean. And I do not like heavy creams on my body. I tried this one because lately I've been trying oils and such. And I tried this one and I do really like it. I spray it on. It feels really good on my muscles after the gym and it gets absorbed quite easily and after it feels your skin feels nice and buttery and soft but it feels light it smells really good I spray quite a bit I because I like it and it gets absorbed you know, it feels very relaxing to massage a little bit your muscles with the oil after the gym. I don't know. I, I really like this routine. I washed the mask out of my hair. Now I'm gonna just give them a little bit, give them a little bit of a brush. All right. So all brushed up and moving on to the final step of this routine Moroccan oil this is a really lovely oil that they put on my hair it's quite expensive but I believe it's worth it you don't need to use a lot so uh, this is like uh, 25 milliliters I believe I've been using it for one month uh, like at least uh, two times a week and it's still less than half of the bottle is used. I believe it makes my hair nice and moisturized and shiny and it smells really nice. So hair is brushed and oiled up and that is the end of this routine after the gym. I hope you enjoyed it. I try to focus a lot on self-care and feel nice. Like even going to the gym is about feeling nice with my body. Uh, I feel it helps me to not overeat. It helps me uh, with my mental health and uh, I like to finish up the gym routine with a nice self-care routine at home uh, with a nice shower with some nice moisturizers uh, if you have any other suggestions if you have things that you're doing after the gym uh, just uh, leave them down below uh, as a comment uh, now I'm gonna end this uh, nice routine with some reading. I'm reading Me Mexican Gothic and it's really nice. I do really enjoy it. I'm gonna lay down, read this uh, book, put some uh, white noise playing. We are done with the after gym routine. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.